Hmm, something is missing. The queen told me to test the boy. Oh my god, look at his face. Oh, jeez Louise, look over his staring, look at the sweat pouring down his face. This guy is having the time of his life. All right, we are back to Lakeview Valley by popular demand. Last time around, you guys saw I came to a very untimely death. A permanent one for once. Oh! And we got a really weird ending, too. Now, I do know there's multiple endings in this game, so I put my brain to work after that, and I tried to figure out how to do different things. I read your comments, people left me tips, people were like, Falcon, you could actually get a couple more endings here on Sunday. We are back on Sunday, as you can see. Now, I did things differently here on Sunday to see if anything else triggered. The problem is, I'm playing the itch.io version of this game, which is still on version 1.02. The Steam version is up to 1.07. And there's been like a couple of fixes and updates to- No, not- No! Okay, this is fine. This is still fine, don't worry. So, all that little story aside, first and foremost, let me come on over here and do this. You're probably wondering why you need, um, why are you butchering the body of Amy here? What is the body of Amy still doing here? Well, um, we could actually take her face off and, like, literally wear it. I might have mentioned that, or at least, um, hinted at it with a meme last time when I talked about this, but as you get, oh, no, no. Oh, I can't ride the, the motorcycle with this? Yes, I can. So why do I need the face? Well, the face is actually very important, as a matter of fact, very much needed for what I plan here to do, which is to go back in time. How you go back in time is not really specifically told. I mean, the game is really cryptic about everything. So when I died and I got the ending, I thought, well, the game's gonna basically just shoot me off to the main menu. I choose my save file again and it'll be like, hey, do you want to start a new game plus or whatever? That's not what happened. As a matter of fact, it just, um, put me back on Sunday over and over again. I remember the tree over here that we could not speak to, or at least it would not give us a power-up. It would say something like, this is not for you, my friend. I think it's this one right here, if I'm right. Yes, it is. My sweet Amy. How unfairly you've been treated. What happened with Dixon? It wasn't your fault. You made a poor choice being with him. Don't you agree? Imagine being able to go back in time, do things differently. I can give you this power. What do you say? And this right here is how you travel back in time. You get to keep your character and do things differently. So I wanted to show this off because this is what we have to do in order for me to continue with good Festus on a new playthrough and try to get different endings and different quests. Now, there's a bit of morbid curiosity for me right now, in terms of what would happen if I go to this meeting here. It's still not 12 o'clock, with this face on. I don't know what happens here, this one I haven't tried myself. But I'm very curious to see if people would just... Nobody's even none the wiser, apparently that I'm, 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 I'm Amy now. Apparently not. Hey, I'm just getting ready for my speech at 12. Make sure you stand somewhere where you can see the stage. So here's what I did off camera, trying to figure out different endings. People were telling me if you speak to the sheriff before that thing happened last time, you could get a different ending. He just says that, and if I wait till 12 and come back, the same ending happens. But before we travel back in time, and I figure out exactly what type of ending I want to do, we did kill a couple of extra boys. They should be in hell now. And we just apparently also killed, um, Ivan, was it? I removed the ears from this one. <laughs> oh, yes, you did. Help, help me. Can you hear me? <laughs> well, you obviously can't even hear yourself now. I mean, technically speaking, though, when you think about it, if people remove your ears, you can still easily listen. It's really inside what it counts, but okay. Let's not really discuss logic here. It hasn't stopped screaming since. I'm so lucky. And that's that one right there. Right now, we also got Root from last video as well. I'm finally here. Thank you so much, good Festus. 
I have waited for this for years. Root, we have heard so much about you. <laughs> I'm sure my husband has told you all kinds of things. The things he told were glorious. Yes, we were quite the couple. Can you believe they never caught us? It is no surprise to us you and your husband are considered saints here. We have to know. Is it true that you were blessed with the sight? Well, what does it look like? <laughs> now, this is intriguing because, number one, it's terrifying. I was told that with the priest, had I not killed anybody, not stolen, not had intercourse with anybody as well, we would have received a blessing from the priest. I don't know what the blessing does, but we would have received it. So I wonder, I mean, he mentioned right now blessed with the sight. Even your husband wasn't considered worthy. You must have done something special for those. Behind every great man is a greater woman. I was the only one who lured them to him. <laughs> yes, you are just as twisted as he told us. You should give us lessons. Speaking of the old code, where is he? I can't wait to see him again after all these years. Oh, he isn't here anymore. We thought you would know. What? What happened? He was accepted into the Upper League. What? Why didn't he come visit me? I cannot answer that. That bastard will pay when I get back, and I will get back. Just wait and see. Yes, sounds deliciously evil. Intriguing. Get back to Lakeview? I don't know. So that's that. We also got, here is Scott. Now the Scott one should be intriguing because remember, Scott was married to Mary. Mary was in hell even before we did came to, to Lakeview, apparently. So, she's been here from the start, and now we're gonna reunite husband and wife again. The man refuses to look. That's not Mary. That's not Mary. That's not Mary. Open your eyes. That's not Mary. That's not Mary. That's not Mary. This frustrates me. What could help? And this gives me the idea that we need to probably kill someone in particular to kind of progress this little hell thing itself. Now let's talk to little Babo here. This one. The queen says there's something in his eyes. Get fastest. This is the best place in the world. Thank you for bringing me here. He might have a chance to join the upper league. You hear that, good Festus? They say I might even see Mommy again. Yes, the Queen just needs to be. Sure. We need somebody else down here, and I'm more than likely sure that is the Mom, because I read that in the comments that if I bring both of them here, something twisted happens. But wait! There's more! Alright, I got excellent news. I was actually able to not only acquire Marge, but a little bit of an extra as well. So here we have you. It is indeed the bus driver. We'll get to you soon. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I, I I think I know where that one's going, but let's do bus driver first. I was told the acoustics might change after removing the tongue. Was it? <laughs> oh my God! Yo, that's a hairy ass man too. <laughs> yes, such a unique voice. This is everything I could have wished for. All right. You... You guys are madmen. Madmen. Hmm, something is missing. The queen told me to... Test the boy. Oh my god, look at his face! Oh, jeez Louise, look over he's staring, look at the sweat pouring down his face. This guy is having the time of his life. Hey, good Festus! I heard that if I do this, I can go to the upper league! Whatever that is. Well, I'd like to know what that is, too, and apparently you're the guinea pig. But why isn't it screaming? I want to hear it scream. Go for it, boy. You can do it, baby. You're getting out of here. I promise you. It feels wrong. What is this tingly feeling? Is this love? All right, so we are ready to travel back in time. Now the question becomes, what type of run do we do next? I'm kind of leaning towards an all-good run. What I'm thinking we can do is right now, because we kind of really edge towards the side of evil this first run, 
We could try to go good. Try to get everybody's quests done without necessarily killing anybody, stealing, sex, yada yada yada. And see what indeed happens if um, we're actually good, because I imagine it's gonna be really different from being terrible as we were. So, let's go over here and indeed accept... To travel back in time. Now, I don't know what happens when this, when you do this. You made the right choice. Enjoy the trip. And tell your whole mother I said hello. Who's some um, Amy's mother? Here we go. Right back to where it all started. You okay back there? You haven't said a word the whole time we've been driving. It's like it's like deja vu, some would say. Trouble with love, maybe? Hey kid, I know all about that. <laughs> the stories I can tell. I remember this one broad, pretty as meat pie used to drive for her father, nice man until someone gave him booze. Me? Never had a problem with alcohol, at least not while there was any left. Ha ha ha, get it? I don't think we got that far into the dialogue tree the first time I played. So, did he run over Amy because he was drunk as hell? Huh. Well, that's intriguing. I'm already liking this because I'm, I'm, I'm... Now that we're doing this again, there's certain things we could probably note that I didn't know about. For Sunday. And I keep... Oh, I, I could have kept all the weapons I had? On my body, excuse me? Well, it's for Sunday. I got the bike, too. I got money as well. That's actually very good, because we would have renovated the entire house with all this extra money. There's a lot of things we gotta do. We gotta... Clear out the fields from the weeds, we gotta get all the garbage out of here, we gotta buy all the stuff for the house, we gotta paint the house. Different things happen based on all the good things that we do. So if we're doing a good run, we kinda gotta go play it straight here. Um, do I have the map still? That would be amazing if I did. Yes! There's Matthew, everybody's alive again! I'm gonna wrap it up here for this one. We have a nice little startup point for the next time around. An entire week of nothing but goodness. And obviously, if we do good, nothing terrible is going to happen in this game if you do good, right? Of course not. Everything should be a very nice, easy breeze through Goodsville. I'll catch you guys next time.